Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center in collaboration with African Center for Leadership Strategy and Development held a summit in Abuja, which was to deliberate on how to find solution to the environmental problems of the people of Ogoni land in Delta State. Correspondent Zora Hamzat completes the report. <music> The Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center had their second annual national summit in Abuja with the team Wellness and the Community. The event which is aimed at finding solutions to the environmental problems that the people are currently facing while struggling to survive with the harsh condition of the environment which has caused the loss of so many lives. Environmental wellness being promoted interactions with nature and environment. Everyone therefore can have a strong environmental consciousness simply by raising awareness about it. Once the route to environmental awareness begins, it becomes incredibly easy to carry out. There were goodwill messages from various speakers who gave their opinion on what should be done to bring about safety for Ogoni people. Your choice of the theme of this year's summit, Ogoni Plain of Environment, Wellness and the Community, is apt and germane to the current effort being led by the federal government towards the Plain of Ogoni Land and the Niger Delta at large. Who gave a promise about the government's commitment to implement the recommendations of the UNEP report and I'm glad today to recognize that that commitment is still moving forward. There is a commitment in terms of the money required that is now being to start the process uh, is available. Uh, the Netherlands government is very proud to have been at the forefront of supporting uh, the, not only the ability cleanup but also the further and wider reaching uh, Niger Delta issues at stake. While speaking to the organizers and participants at the event who spoke on the current situation of the land and what they hope to achieve from the event. To say what the UNEP report on the Ogoni land is quite well, I think that the Ogoni is just one small tiny aspect of the Niger Delta. But um, we are not the same thing. So if the UNEP report tells you that the water we drink is 1,000 times worse than the level recommended by Boyd Operation, then that is just what other uh, people in the Niger Delta are going to also. In Ogoni specifically, um, every water that is taken. As HCM content, HCM content of crude oil on every water taken, and that they are dispensing a cancer causing carcinogen in the water taken in Ogoni. And uh, I'm not surprised that's true because um, the only festival that we have in Ogoni every weekend now is there. At the previous summit where we talked about, and we got express commitment that this will be done. One year after we thought we should look back and see where we are, what has been done, and then to find out if there are things we need to do, especially as civil society, to make sure things are done differently going forward to achieve better results because lives are at stake here, the people's health are at stake.